A Gaussian mixture model, also known as GMM, is a statistical model used to describe data distribution. It assumes that the data can be represented as a combination of multiple Gaussian distribution models, each with its own mean and variance. In practice, this means we can model complex distributions, such as the distribution of test scores or income, by combining multiple simple distributions, such as a distribution of test scores for boys and for girls. Using GMM to model distribution allows us to capture the complexity of the data and describe it more accurately. This can be particularly useful in machine learning applications where we often deal with complex and high dimensional data sets. So let's gain a deeper understanding of Gaussian mixture model and Gaussian mixture distributions. So without further ado, let's get on to our topic. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. First, to succeed in this rapidly expanding field, you need to develop the right skill set. If you want to boost your career in the field of ML, then take our Caltech postgraduate program in partnership with IBM. That will help you become an expert in AI and ML. This course covers the latest tools and technologies and features masterclasses by Caltech faculty and IBM experts. Hackathon and Ask Me session are also there. These are just a few reasons you should consider learning machine learning with this program. Don't waste any time. Enroll in our Caltech postgraduate program in AI and ML and become an ML engineer. The link will be in the description below. Now, let's get to our video and learn just what a Gaussian mixture model is. A Gaussian mixture model is a probabilistic model representing data as a mixture of multiple Gaussian distributions. It is a mixture model because it assumes that data points are generated from a mix of Gaussian distribution, each associated with a certain probability. In GMM, each Gaussian distribution represents a component or cluster within the data. The model assumes that the data points within each cluster are generated from a Gaussian distribution with its mean and covariance. The GMM, which is known as Gaussian mixture model, combines these component distributions with mixture weight to form the overall probability distribution of the data. So now let's see the key components of Gaussian mixture model. Number one is the number of components, also known as clusters. The GMM assumes that the data is a mixture of a specific number of Gaussian distributions, also known as components or clusters. The number of components is typically determined in advance or estimated by using techniques such as model selection. Next, we have Gaussian distribution. Each component in the GMM is represented by a Gaussian distribution. A Gaussian distribution, also known as normal distribution, is a bell shaped curve fully described by its mean and covariance. The mean represents the center of the distribution, and the covariance determines the spread or shape. Third is mixtures weights. The GMM assigns mixtures weights to each component, representing the probability of selecting that component when generating a data point. These weights must sum up to one. The mixture will determine the collaboration of each component to the overall distribution. So, using a Gaussian mixture model involves estimating the model parameters, including the means, covariance, and mixture weights. This is typically done through an interactive optimization algorithm like the expectation maximization algorithm. The EM algorithm alternates between estimating the responsibilities of each component for each data point and updating the model parameters based on the responsibilities. The algorithm continues until convergence, where the parameters reach a stable state. Once the GMM is trained, it can be used for various tasks. For example, it can be applied to clustering by assigning data points to the most likely component or cluster. It can also be used for density estimation, where it estimates the underlying probability distribution of the data. Now, let's see some real-world examples where Gaussian mixture models can be used. Gaussian mixture models, also known as GMMS, are versatile tools that find applications in various real-world scenarios. 
They are particularly useful when dealing with large data sets where identifying clusters is challenging. GMMS excel at efficiently discovering clusters of Gaussian, outperforming testing algorithms like k-means. Now here are some practical examples of how Gaussian mixture models can be applied. The first one is medical dataset analysis. Gaussian mixture models can single out medical images or identify patterns within datasets. By clustering patients based on similar symptoms, GMMS can assist in detecting diseases, subtypes, predicting outcomes, and revealing correlations and previously unknown patterns in large-scale patient records. Next, we have modeling natural phenomena. GMMS are suitable for modeling natural phenomena where Gaussian distribution are observed in the noise. This modeling approach assumes an underlining unobserved entities or attributes, which measurements are taken at central points across multiple observation sessions. Next, we have customer behavior analysis. Gaussian mixture models are valuable in marketing for analyzing customer behavior, and by leveraging historical data, GMMS can predict future purchases, enabling businesses to tailor the market strategies and become more efficient. Next is stock price prediction. Gaussian mixture models find applications in finance, especially in analyzing stock price time series. They can identify challenge points within the data, helping detect turning points in stock prices or other market movements that might be obscured by vulnerability and noise. Next, we have gene expression data analysis. GMMS are employed in gene expression data analysis. They can be utilized to identify differentially expressed genes between two conditions and determine which genes make you susceptible to specific phenomena, types, or disease states. Now let's see the implementation of a Gaussian mixture model. To do this, we have a small demo. I have taken the IRIS data set. Okay, in Python, there's a Gaussian mixture class to implement GMN. Load that IRIS data set, and then we are all good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is import our NumPy, which is a library of Python. Okay, so we'll write import NumPy as NP. In the next line, then, we have to import uh, Panda. So we'll write import Panda as PD. And after that, we'll import matplotlib. We'll write import matplotlib dot P U I L T as B L T. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now we'll write uh, from and does and we'll import data frame okay after that from scikit-learn which is sklearn we will import data sets so from sklearn dot import data set okay and then from sklearn dot mixture and import Gaussian mixture. Now we'll load the iris data set. So for that we'll write iris equals and then data set that we just now imported from sklearn. We'll write data sets dot load because we need to load that data, and we'll write this uh, function sign. After that, we'll give it a variable x and iris dot data and brackets. So the semicolon we just wrote is for everything, like like all the data. When we have to show all the data, we'll write this. Imagine there is a, an array of seven things. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And you want everything of that array. So if we use this keyword, and if you want to say out of that seven, if you only want five, we'll write that here, comma, then we'll write two. So what this will show is only five. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we'll write uh, D, which is PD dot data frame. And you'll see we get the data frame from X. It will just declare. So this is for the, uh, to turn the data frame for like turning my data into a data frame. Okay. Now we have to plot the data for that. We'll write uh, plot dot scatter. And then we'll write D uh, zero. Uh, one. Okay. And then we'll say plot show. And so now let's see if this works or not. Okay. So it's showing me one error. Let's see. Okay. I got it. My mistake. Now let's run it again. Shows matplotlib error. Again, let's see. Uh, like spelling mistake here. Okay, let's give it a try again. And another error. Okay. Gosh, and mixture should be a capital. Everything looks fine this time, so now you can see the data. Now you see the data of these flowers, iris flowers. You can see it's like everything is mixed and you can't identify which one is which, and you can't identify the exact things that you want to see in this data. So for that, Gaussian mixture model comes in. So with this method, we'll see the difference between the things that we want to see in the data. Okay, so we'll click on the plus sign and we'll write GMM equals Gaussian mixture to sign. And soon, yeah, soon it's showing us again. And then the components equals three. So we'll find the GMM model for this data set and with three Gaussian distributions so that we can see the different colors for every data set in this. So we'll give GMM.fit and the data frame, all the data. And now we will just assign a label to each sample. Okay, so for that we'll write Label equals GMM dot predict the date the data. Now we'll give this data a label and we'll make that D label equals okay. And we're going to write D zero, and we'll give this D zero a label so we can identify it later and know which one is our data. So we'll again write labels equals zero. Okay. This one is for zero. And we'll just copy this and paste it three times. Yeah. So because we have said three components, if, if we wanted to do more than that, we could as well. So we would just have to change these values now to D1 and D2. And then here also we have to change the values or the output will not look like we want the output to. Okay. So now that we've assigned the labels, we'll move uh, forward and we'll plot three clusters in the same plot. Okay, so for that we'll write plot.scatter from D0, comma, D0, and then one. We'll make this 
red. You have to write this so the color will be shown on the screen. Okay. So then we can just copy this line and paste it. One, two, and three. So we'll change the value here of D to D1 and D2. And then we'll change the color too. So let's make it uh, blue and green. Okay, everything looks good. Now let's execute this. And you'll see what I missed here. You know, I have to change color of this. So let's make it yellow. Now we'll execute it. Okay. There you go. And then just take a look here. Now you can see we have the output, and you can clearly see the difference in the data, which was previously shown like this, where we can't see the data for what it is. But now with the Gaussian mixture method, we can see all the outputs in different colors. So we can say that this method helps us very much. And then we could print the coverage log, like hold value and number of iterations needed for the model. Okay, so we need to execute a little more code to get the value of that. So for that, we'll write print Gaussian mixture model lower bound. And then we'll write uh, print gmm dot iter. Yeah. Okay. Now let's run this. And now you have the output data and it's the value of that output. So hence there are like uh, seven iterations for the log, like hold to cover it. So in summary, uh, the Gaussian mixture model represents data as a mixture of Gaussian distribution model. The model parameters, including the number of components, mean, covariance, and mixture weights are estimated using techniques like the expectation maximization algorithm. Uh, the mixture model can be used for clustering data in two groups and estimating the probability density function of the data. So with this, we've reached the end of this video. Make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Thank you. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.